Researchers first remove samples from both the uninfected plant and the plant infected with the virus. mRNA is extracted from each of the plant samples. The mRNA is then reverse transcribed into more stable complementary DNA, called cDNA. The infected sample is fluorescently labeled red, while the uninfected sample is labeled green. At this point, in many microarray experiments, the two cDNA samples are combined. The combined sample of fluorescently labeled cDNA is applied to the microarray chip. The cDNA from the sample binds to its complementary sequence of DNA bases on the chip. We know that the pieces that are fluorescently labeled will stick tightly to the corresponding gene features, but they won't stick tightly anywhere else. So we rinse the chip off after we do the hybridization step, and then we put the chip in a laser scanner to electronically capture the data. The chip is scanned with a laser, activating the fluorescent dyes in the sampled cDNA. A computer captures this information, calculates the ratio of red and green on each spot, which indicates which genes are expressed in the uninfected and infected plant samples.